Welcome to episode 11 and I'm building a canoe. This video will cover finishing the trim, including sanding and routing, and then we will sand the entire fiberglass hull and apply Towboat's Lust Varnish. So I hope you enjoy the video. Using a hand plane, I started taking down the plugs to get those flush with the gun. Using sandpaper, I started roughing up and evening out the epoxy coat before I could put on the varnish. This is a good chance to smooth out some drips and runs and things I wasn't exactly happy with. With the sanding mess cleaned up on the hull, I now grabbed the random orbital sander and worked on smoothing down the deck plates. I then rounded over the end of the gunnels and then also sanded the inside of the gunnel to get a nice smooth finish. And this process was completed all the way around. Now I've moved my attention to the outer gunnel, smoothing over those plug holes that I knocked down earlier with the hand plane. Happy with the sanding, I grabbed the plunge router again to reprofile the edge. Some of the sanding had squared it off more than I would like.
with the canoe flipped over, the sanding process was repeated on the outer edge of the hull and guns. I got smart and used the canoe cradles to allow me to rotate the canoe to different directions. This really helped rather than being bent over trying to do this level of sanding. With all the dust cleaned up and the hull wiped down, I could move on to prepping the varnish. For this, again, I'm using Total Boat Products. It's their Lust Varnish, which gives a really deep, glossy shine. I cut it with some xylene so that it would spray better out of the sprayer. I ended up spraying six total coats on the inner hull, as well as onto the hardware for the seats. This should really protect that uh, epoxy from UV damage. A final coat was brushed on to the inner hull. So with the inner hull dry, I flipped it over and started spraying the outer hull. For this side, I gave it seven coats with a sprayer and then one final brush coat. In the next episode, I will be weaving the cane seats and getting those attached into the canoe as well as a few other trim pieces. Make sure you've turned on notifications when that video comes out. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe Hit the bell for new video notifications, like, comment, and share. There's also a link below to any tools or products used during this video.